The Automation 360.22 release is now live in Community Edition. To celebrate, I wanted to shout out my five favorite features that I want you to be on the lookout for as you're using Community Edition in the next couple weeks, okay? So these are my top five. This is by no means the end all be all list of new features. I wanna hear all of your favorite features in the comments below, but I wanna shout out my top five. Number five, global sessions are now available in the DLL package, the Excel Advanced package, and the Terminal Emulator. What this means is I can now create a session that can be shared between multiple tasks or multiple bots. So I could create a bot, bot A, where I open up an Excel spreadsheet, I might do some modifications. I then run task B or I run the subtask, right, from that main bot. I can pass that global session over to that subtask I can continue operations on that exact same session or that exact same spreadsheet uh, without having to screw up my bot or reopen the, uh, the Excel spreadsheet or anything like that. So this is a great way to compartmentalize your logic, make sure that you're creating logic and subtasks that can be maximally reused across multiple bots. Number four is object does not exist conditional statement. This is a great way for me to make sure that my bot understands the page context that it's currently on. When you build a bot, it's usually going through some kind of flow, right? I launch this page, I do a login, I do a search, and then I click on this one element, and then I go take some other operation, right? I wanna make sure that I understand the page context that my bot is in at all times. So I can use this object does not exist conditional statement to do that. And I can check to make sure that I'm not seeing this one object because, hey, that was from the last page that I was on and I wanna make sure the page is actually refreshed. So I might use an object does not exist conditional statement to be sure I understand the context that the bot is going to be seeing at all times. I can open XML files, protected Excel files, and uh, Excel files with macros using the Excel package. This extends the functionality of the Excel package and allows me to open even more file types. So I can open those files that have macros built in. I can open those files that were previously protected. I can also open XML files directly with the Excel package. Dictionary put action. This one's huge for me. Um, previously, when you were using the put action from the dictionary package, uh, you would have to select for your mapping a value from a dropdown, right? And that was really pretty limiting in the variables that you could select from. And so now it's a little bit more wide open, right? I, I can convert a variable on the fly if I need to, to map that in. I could also choose a value from a list. So I don't have to pre-assign that to another variable right before this step. Uh, I can choose a value from a list to map into a dictionary put action. So a lot more flexibility with that dictionary put action. That one got an exclamation point for me because that was a huge feature I've been waiting on. And the number one feature that I think you should check out is the search within the bot editor. I know this one's gonna be a popular one with the A People community. You can now do a search across your bot, and this is especially useful if you've got a huge bot or you build in flow view most of the time like I do. You can now hit Control F, it brings up the application uh, search instead of the Chrome search or the um, Edge search that you were using previously, but it brings up the application search. You can now type in specific phrases like the action name, uh, like the package name, like something that you referenced in your variable, uh, your, your variable itself. So you can search for all of those things. It will come back with a list of where it found those within your bot as you click arrow through those lists it will actually take you to the exact area where that um, action was within your bot. It's a quick way to be able to find specific references within your bot. Hey, so those are my top five exciting features for the Dot22 release. I wanna hear what features you're most excited about in the comments. Let me know below. I know that there was other stuff that was released with this to include some changes to Ari for file uploads, also to include the hosting of images. So let me know in the comments below what your most favorite features are. I want to hear all about them. I'm Micah Smith. Go be great.